Well, I'm generally nerdy. I'm Dustin, I'm generally nerdy. Uh, we are starting a new series with this video. This is going to be The Week in Nerdy. Ah, no, I don't like that name. Let's say The Week in Nerd. Nerddom? Nerddom. Let's say that. The Week in Nerddom. <clears throat> Uh, I made an attempt to do this video once before, but it took me a couple days to get edited, and now it's irrelevant. So, we're just going to start fresh. Before we start, though, uh, like, subscribe, share, retweet. Uh, you can find the website at uh, www.generallynerdy.net, and... All of the other things can be found on the website. There is an Instagram, generally nerdy, all one word. There is a Twitter, generally underscore nerdy. There is a Facebook, generally nerdy. There is a YouTube, which if you're watching this right now, then you know that. If you're just listening, though, there is a YouTube. Uh, I am also on iTunes and SoundCloud, and you can find me with any podcasting app uh, for your phone, so long as it uses the iTunes RSS feed. Um, so yes, www.generallynerdy.net. That is the place to find all of that information. So this week in Nerddom, uh, because there is no previous week in Nerddom, this will probably be a little bit longer than most. Uh, just to play catch up, we're gonna play catch up a little bit. Looking forward to 2017, looking forward to some movies. Uh, we're going for Ben Affleck as the Batman, who, and he, all right, so he's not gonna direct. They just announced this like two days ago, not gonna direct. But he still wrote most of the script. Couldn't get it right, couldn't get it right, couldn't get it right. So he handed off the script. He and Jeff Johns, uh, which, like, how can you not get the script right? You have Jeff Johns and effectively Kevin Smith at your disposal, because Affleck and Smith back in the day used to be homies. Um, I mean, and, and Kevin Smith still, you know, tout, toots that horn all the time. So, like, I don't understand how he couldn't get it right when he's got those two writers <laughs> available to him, but he couldn't get it right, he couldn't get it right. So what he did was he handed it over to the guy who wrote the screenplay for Batman versus Superman. Now, this guy has been his screenwriting partner for a long time. He was, he helped him write Argo. So there is a lot of credibility uh, behind him. I, I honestly can't think of his name right now. I don't I didn't print out my notes, so my apologies. Uh, I will put his name in the description, so uh, take with that what you will. Anyway, this it's the same guy who wrote Batman vs Superman though. Now Batman vs Superman still have not seen the extended cut because there's very little that you can add to that movie that would make it better. Uh, because the, the whole premise of the movie is death doesn't mean anything. So Batman's going to kill people. Uh, we know Superman's going to die in the end, but it's cool because we also know he's going to come back in the next movie. So whatever. There's no stakes. Um, and, and Batman fucking kills people. So there's that. So aside from the glaring issues that I just laid out, the movie was entertaining. Now, are they going to learn from the internet backlash from BVS and somehow course correct for the Batman? Or is it just going to be, ooh, look, explosions and shiny things again? Um... Time will only tell. When it was just Affleck at the helm, when it was just Affleck writing, and it was just Affleck uh, directing, 
and it was just Affleck. Well, I guess not just because there's a lot of production going on, but Affleck was going to be involved with uh, the producing as well. Like that, I had a lot of hope for because, like, he's relatively nerdy, even though he didn't say anything about the writing. And then two days ago, we get the notice that, oh, and uh, he couldn't finish the script because he kept saying, I'm not going to do it until the script's good. I'm not going to do it until the script's good. And the script's not done yet. And then Warner Brothers would come out and say, this is the release date for the Batman. And then Ben Affleck would come out the next day and go, no, it isn't. And then Warner Brothers would come out and say, this is the release date for Batman. And Ben Affleck would come out and say, nah, it's still not done yet. So you can't really shoot a movie without a script. Um, and he was never happy with the script. He, he put so much work into it. So uh, so then it comes out again two days ago, that or a day ago, something like that, that he also didn't finish writing the script. He handed it off to a script writing friend of his who helped him write other movies that have won Oscars. Um, so there is, there is still potential, just I have less high hopes, if that makes any sense. Um, so that's cool. And we get Wonder Woman this year, which is going to be, I, I really am super looking forward to Wonder Woman. Um, there is a long list of movies I don't think are going to do so well. Uh, super duper nerdy movies, just, I mean, I feel like we're to the point uh, as a nerd culture, we're to the point with, even with uh, popular culture that accepts the nerdy bits, um, which is most parts of popular culture. We're to the point now where you can't just do a standard superhero movie and get away with it. You have to do something great. You have to do fucking Guardians of the Galaxy. You have to do... You have to do Captain America Civil War. You know, they, it has to be that level. Otherwise, it kind of... I mean, it'll make you money, but... It'll make you money, but you're not going to... You're not going to make as much money, and it's not going to be as critically acclaimed. And I really hope one day to see a superhero movie get some sort of actual critical acclaim, like an Oscar or a Golden Globe, you know, some some sort of recognition that kind of says, all right, this is a legitimate film genre. This is a legitimate genre of of anything, you know, literature. Uh, I mean, there's plenty of comic books that have won literature awards but we have yet to get to that point with comic book movies. So, uh, that's what I'm looking for, and that's, I think, what the culture is looking for, is, yeah, it's cool, we get Batman on screen, but that's never gonna win an Oscar until we get some killer Arkham Asylum-level storytelling. Um, so... I had hope that the Batman movie would hit that level with, when it was just Affleck on top of it because he's that obsessive. Uh, I don't know that we're going to get that now. We could. I, I'm not completely cutting out that possibility. We definitely could, but I don't think we will. Um, so yeah, continuing on, video games. Uh, Injustice 2 keeps announcing new characters. They're in the third wave of beta testing. Uh, unfortunately, my internet connection at my house sucks like you would not believe, so I I did not even try to get in on the beta testing uh, online, though there is plenty of video online if you want to go look for it. There is some awesomeness that is about to hit consoles. Uh, Evo 2017 just released their list of games, and Injustice 2 is on that list. There is, I believe it's 12 games, and one of them is Injustice 2. So that's going to be awesome. I really don't know what they're going to do with the storyline. Uh, it looks like some of the promotional material looks like it, there might be it might be another alternate reality in which Batman has gone crazy. Um, so we'll see what happens there. Aside from that, I, I mean, as things get closer, I'll, I'll talk more specifically about them in the week and nerd them. Uh, or in, I mean, as as things happen, I'll probably do full on reviews of each of them. Um, 
not a whole lot in the immediate future as far as video games that I can see that I'm super stoked about. There, I'm, I mean, like, that's, that I, I, I tweeted this the other day. I was going to do a series of videos for CES this year, because last year CES was so spectacular. I just wasn't functioning well for the nerdy uh, channel. Um, so I was like, sweet, CES. And then CES happened, and there was kind of nothing. Like... No great keynote speeches, no real awesome reveals. Last year we had a lot of VR stuff and that would have been a, a cool video to, to do. I might still do a VR video because it is still in its infancy and I like, think people are still figuring out how we can fully utilize it. But uh, just CES the, this year was kind of a bust. I was not excited about any of the videos that I saw. Obviously I didn't go, I don't have that kind of money. Um, I am just a lowly chef in Loveland, Colorado. So, also on the horizon, I mean, we've got, there's this, again, there's a slew of movies. Um, you can find the list of nerdy movies from probably 20 different locations, so I'm not really going to bother going through and naming each one, but as, we get, as they get closer, I definitely am going to talk about them. Definitely going to talk about uh, the, the expectations that we, that you should have as viewer. For each movie uh, and and like uh, yeah music wise though uh, I went and saw AFI I was gonna do a full-on video I just got so busy with work my day job and other things uh, I did not have time to do it AFI on the blood tour if you have a chance to go Anytime you can see F AFI, it's a good time to see AFI. Even if you don't like the current album they're promoting, they're gonna play some old tunes, and they definitely played some old tunes. They came out and did a two encores. The second encore was Total Immortal, and dear God, I about pooped myself. I was so excited. Um, great show, great, great show. AFI never disappoints. Matter of fact, every time I see them, they might be even a little better than the last time. Um, got to interview the drummer, Adam, so that will go up on Eclectica very soon, uh, within the next couple days, actually, and just a fantastic show. The Openers, uh, first band was a band called Souvenirs, looked like a bunch of kids playing some real navel gaze, shoe gaze kind of stuff. It was alright, I mean, it's kind of the same thing I said about, uh, the last show, the Protest the Hero show, the, the openers were didn't seem like they had quite figured out their sound yet. Uh, it wasn't horrible, but I definitely, had I known that was the music they played, I would have waited a little longer to show up to the show. So, uh, not great. The second band is a band called Chain Gang from 1974, and they sucked. Oh my god, did they suck? They sucked so hard, uh, I was kind of embarrassed for them. <laughs> Uh, other people liked them. I mean, it's not that I feel like they necessarily had a bad performance. Their music just was so subpar. Uh, the bass player was groovy as shit. I really dug that guy. And, I, and their, their drummer was pretty on point and, you know, could find the pocket every now and then. But on the whole, the whole performance was just mediocre at best. So, yeah, AFI on the Blood Tour. If you can, do. If you can't, you're missing out because AFI is fucking amazing. Um, other music, Gojira and Opeth is coming through soon, so I am super excited to be going to that show. I will do a review for that if it kills me. Um, trying to trying to figure out Kill Switch Engage on the Killthrax tour, uh, Kill Switch Engage and Anthrax, and I forget who the openers are, but. That's going to be a great show. Killswitch always also does a great show. I have yet to see them with Jesse back at the helm. Uh, they've been through Colorado two or three times with Jesse. I just have not been able to catch them. So I'm hoping to catch them this time. I really enjoy Jesse's lyrics. I really enjoy Jesse's performance. So uh, as should you, heavy music listeners. Um, what else? What else? What else? Music wise, oh, Mastodon. Oh, yes, Mastodon. Mastodon is going on tour. Mastodon is also doing a new album. Uh, the official release of the album, I believe, was the end of March. So that's gonna be, that's probably gonna rule my world for about a week. 
But then, also speaking of new albums, System of a Down just announced. And this is this is kind of tertiary news because I heard it from somebody who saw the re who saw the announcement. So I could be mistaken. Do not hold me to that if I am. However, breaking news: System of a Down literally last night or sometime yesterday afternoon uh, announced that they are working on a new album and that it will be supposedly released this year. So yes, uh, yes, much please and now thank you. Um, Serge and the boys worked out whatever issues they had with one another. It was probably, it had, probably had nothing to do with the rhythm section. Seems like it was Serge and Darren. But, whatever the issue was that they decided to go on the hiatus and Serge and Darren do their own little side project. Because I don't know what Shavo and, uh, I can't remember the drummer's name right now off the top of my head. But, I don't know what they did while System's been on break. Uh, Shavo, I'm sure, has been partying with other musicians in LA like the musician musical types are want to do um, but yeah system of a down new album this year mastodon new album this year some killer tours this is gonna be a great year in music um, as these things get closer I will update you appropriately uh, and then we also have comic-con season starting um, it won't start in Colorado officially until, I believe, April. There is... There is Dink at the beginning of April. There is Starfest at the end of April. And then uh, Comic-Con, Denver Comic-Con will be... June 30th to July 2nd. So we're we're still we're still got a you know a little ways before con season officially starts in Colorado. It has definitely started in other in other areas in the country. So if you have been going to cons, uh, share some experiences, man. Hit me up on the website and uh, we'll 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 talk cons. And I'm looking looking forward to getting some really cool interviews. Looking forward to doing some really awesome coverage. Looking forward to get some really great cosplay pictures. Um, there is a, a new art or a new piece up on the website about cosplay, about uh, girls specifically who do cosplay. I, I mean, it could be applied to guys too. It's just generally the argument is made against women because guys don't see girls as nerdy for some reason. Guys don't believe that girls can be nerdy, and I I am not one of those guys. Um, guys only see girls who dress in cosplay as wanting some really not good attention. Uh, but that again, there's a whole piece written on the blog about that So that being said I will see you next week I will see you actually probably sooner than that because we'll, I'll be posting some more videos that are not the week in nerddom um, But I will see you next week for the week in nerddom and this is generally nerdy Just so you know if it is generally nerdy It's probably not